everyone, Amanda here. I just thought I'd come and share some of the bits and bobs that I've made for the journal that I'm working on. Um, some people have been asking me, if you are a hardened junk journaler, this video is not really for you. You're not going to learn anything from me because I'm quite new myself. <laughs> These videos are for my followers who have seen me um, going into junk journaling and are asking questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? Um, so it's for, you know, to maybe encourage some new people into junk journaling and they can um, have their own new um, journey at the same time as me. So um, I've previously explained that I use digital images and so I don't only use them just for pages. What I also do is print extras out and use them to create things with. All right, I've already shown you this one. Um, on a previous video this is just a little CD wallet paper wallet and inside there this is one of the digital images that you can um, purchase and so I've inked it and I've sewn it on some some uh, I think that's scrapbooking paper oh, no, no I think that's uh, a grid paper that I've printed out from the old design shop and that will sit in there and as I say um, you can glue glue it on three sides, stick it in and it's a tuck spot and then these are fussy cut um, and these are free because um, quite a lot of the digital sellers are very very giving, crafters are and um, you know they will um, have freebie items in the store for you to download and these are freebies from um, Artemis so I fussy cut that and just decorated that up and then that's the tags, belly band there which I've backed on card and I've sewn, I do like to sew things, I'm using white cotton, um, really it might look better with black but my machine won't accept my black cotton, it won't have it, um, I've got, I have got quite a um, fancy sewing machine that does embroidery, but just a few, not loads, embroidery stitches so I've been playing with those there, so these are you know, tags, I'll back them on coffee dyed paper, um, that one I've just added a bit of scalloped um, paper on the back because I had some left over and I'll use scraps okay and here we've got some journaling cards and then another thing that I've done here I've created this is going to be a little notebook all right so I've sewn all the way around and I'm going to turn that into a notebook we might do that today this is one that's half done. So this is the thicker way of copy of paper. I explained in a previous video that I use standard photocopying paper or printer paper rather for pages that I'm just going to write on. For pages that I'm going to glue something onto or um, over embellish or add a tuck spot, I use the presentation paper which is 120. So that's what I've used here. So this is just one um, is it A4 folded in half, it's been cut down slightly and then I've added some of the digital images so I'll print an image out like that and then I'll cut it to size I'll glue it on, very lightly glue it on and get it all how I want it and then I will go back and sew around it so I've created this very very simple and you can really let your imagination run wild there's loads of tutorials out there type in journal tucks or journal flip outs you know use the word journal and other keyword searches there's billions of tutorials um, so this is just a sheet of paper folded in half and then what I've got here is an envelope and I've just cut the envelope down to the size that I want all right and the flap of the envelope so where it would seal over and you'd like lick it shut is under this paper here so I've glued it on there and then I've put my paper over the top and then I've sewn around which then gives me that flip so that then has got a pocket there with some journaling tags and I've lined it with the lovely digital papers all right let me just get that back in there and then when we would flip out at this side I, you know, it's all been coffee dyed already, has had the envelope, so I've stamped on there and I've added one of the little pockets and then we've just got some little ephemera in there, alright, and that sticks in there. And then on this page we've got one of the flip outs, I've learnt this from Yvonne Preston, alright, and so basically when it's together you've got a tuck spot there 
and then you've got one there and you've got one at the back all right so what i've made all these three out of the digital paper just sewn around them and then this folds out like so i mean camera and out like so and out like so and the idea being that you could write on that and journal on it or you know you could put little secrets in there whatever you want and that folds up like so i'm not going to do a tutorial on this because you know it, the uh I can't remember who's made it. I've, I've got it saved on my PC, um, but I, I learned it from Yvonne, I think. I can't I can't remember the name of it later. <laughs> it's, it, it'll be in my playlist. What I'll do is, I've got a playlist of things that I've been saving. I'll make that playlist public. And then anywhere where I've got an idea, it'll be on that playlist. Because... Uh, these aren't my ideas. <laughs> and then I've got one of the little flips here. Okay. Little corner flips, which I love. Little um, doily and then just a little stamped butterfly. And what I can do there is I can tuck things in there like so. You know, and you can tuck a, few, a good few things in. I probably just have that. And then the recipient can take it out and journal on the back of it. All right. So that's that. And then on the back, I just had some... Um, this is a grid paper that I've purchased from the old design shop, I think. And then I've just stamped on it. Okay, so this is a word script stamp and then this is a beautiful corset stamp. Inked around the edge, that is really is it. And what I will do with that is I might decorate just this far corner here with some lace or something. And that will probably go on a pit. Oh, I don't know if it'll fit. No, it won't fit. It'll probably go inside a journal somehow. Whether I put it in the central signature and sew it in, or whether I slot it in a pocket, I don't know, I've not decided yet. Um, have I shown you this one? No. <laughs> so this one I've made just by folding some paper over, alright, and I've turned it into just a bit of, just messing about with it. So this is uh, just some lovely seam binding, I've got an eyelet hole, and what I've done here is, this is just a piece of paper, alright, with some digital scrapbooking paper over the top and I have sewn, I, I basically just folded it like so, like a wallet and then I've sewn all the way around but I have sewn either side of each fold as well just to give it a bit of strength and then those are a little bit like gussets if it gets a bit thick and then here we've just got a belly band which is just some scrap paper that's been coffee dyed Fancy edge punching, and this is a freebie from Artie Mays, um, and I've cut that out, inked it, and put double-sided tape on the back. And then in here we've just got some ephemera, and these are like, they're just they're fake, vintage ephemera. Some people have got the real thing, um, if you're lucky enough. Um, you know, this I have purchased from the old design shop, I think. She had a sale on the other week, so I bought some stuff. And I just, it's like an old vintage letter. Um, but, you know, the thing is, you can write on the back of it. it it's just for, for fun. Some people might be like, well, what's that all about? It's, it's for fun. <laughs> and then that's a journaling card. And then to keep it all in a sewing theme, we've got this little card here, which, you know, I've, I've printed out from, um, I think it's from the kit, the Artemis kit. And then the little flower was free, more of the little washi tape that I've made here. We've got a corner flip here, which I've decorated with a tiny bit of doily, like some random string. I <laughs> don't even know where that's come from. And the more random and the more kind of garbage that I can use and turn into something, that is the challenge for me with junk journals and I love it. Love it. Little charm here that I've had in my stash probably for about five centuries and then you just add some little printouts and this here is like a little ne needle um, you know um, shaped envelope when you used to put the needles in that you could put and that's part of the kit so you know just these little flashes of digital images along with the plain paper that you've just dyed and used um, is what makes them look cool and then I've, I've glued that one on there and then at this side we've got another little pocket here with some more stuff in and that's meant to be like a receipt a vintage receipt and that's just like a, a little business card uh, and here I've just 
glued a little image on and a bit more of that um, washi tape. All right. So that goes that way, that goes that way. I wrap my seam binding around it. And there's no scoring or measuring or anything like that. I just literally fold a piece of paper and sew around it and, make, and put pockets in it. Okay, there's no big design <laughs> involved. And then this little charm, I have a stash of charms and bits of chain and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just giving it used up and I'll just attach that on my ribbon like so. And that's another little idea. So what I might do is just quickly decorate some of this. Just the front here, I think. Um, so I'm going to go away and think about that. And then I might come and do a, a full process video on that. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not really a video -er. You know, junk journals are not really what I do my videos on. It's just that people have been asking me. So I'm just sharing some of the things that I've been doing. Um, if you really would like me to do some tutorials, uh, leave me a little uh, comment below and I'll see what I can do. Alright then, bye for now. <laughs>